Here are some tips and tricks for using your Texas Instruments graphing calculator to save time and avoid mistakes. Now, let's take it to the test. We're going to look at a quick way to graph relations in familiar forms. Learning how to do this will give you a huge advantage on any test because it allows you to enter a relation and not just a function. Starting on the entry line on a blank graphs page, press delete to open the drop down menu. If you don't see the relation feature here, update your operating system to the latest version. Are we good? Okay, now select relation and press enter. Using 2x plus 3y equals 6 as our example, punch it in. 2x plus 3y equals 6 and enter. And there you go. Now, let's try with something you could see on a test. Open the drop down, select relation. Now, graph your circle. And Enter. Here's where the relation feature comes in handy. You can use it to find the center. Hover near what looks like the center. Your cursor will change when you are close to it. Then press Control. Menu. Select Analyze Graph. Analyze Conics. And Center. There it is. The coordinates for the center are 0, 2. Follow basically the same sequence to find the radius. Put your cursor on the circle. See how it changes? Press Control, Menu, select Analyze Graph, Analyze Conics. This time, select Radius. Boom, the radius is three. Great, let's do another circle. I'll go a little faster this time. Okay, here we go. Three X squared minus 12 X plus three Y squared plus six Y equals 24. Select the label with your cursor and move it out of the way. Hover over the center. When you see your cursor change, just follow the steps. Great. As you can see, there's a lot you can do with the relation feature to save time and avoid mistakes. The Tips and Tricks document has all this and more. Download it now and use it to practice for the test. And be sure to check out the rest of the Tips and Tricks for Test Success videos. And hey, good luck on that exam.